Look at that, I can see it from here. We have some guides to the cache today. And look, she got it for us. There it is. Can you get it open? Yay! Can't open it. Okay, I'll get it. So we had an escort to our first cache of the day. TG4 is the CO for this cache right here. That one right there. <laughs> and uh, and her, her little ones. So thank you very much for the help. You're welcome. That was awesome. We're just heading out on our big trip. And you're going to be the first visit. And then we're going to be off. Is that okay? fun? And the awesome. next shop. Yeah. Next oh, and the next shop. Lovely. Today we're off to Sudbury, Ontario, and we're going to do one of the oldest caches in the province, and it requires a climb up a mountain. That's right. And we're going to visit two fans of Cache Canada. Coming up. Well, this is definitely a great spot for the first cache of the day and we're going to dive right into this episode and take you to several cool spots in and around Sudbury, Ontario. We haven't found the cache yet, but we did find wild Ontario blueberries. Mmm. Oh, so sweet. Well, all we've managed to do is find some blueberries, but not a cache. This one hasn't been found since 2018, and we've checked as many nooks and crannies as we could. There are a lot of places this cache could be. And without a hint, we're gonna have to move on because we're on a budget of time and we got a number to hit, so we're gonna have to get another one. More blueberries. That was another cache just on the other side of the road from where we were, so we're gonna try for it. It's called Fallen Tree. Let's see if we can get this one. We're keeping our eyes peeled as we go along because uh, we're not the only ones that are after blueberries. It's a, a pretty good food source for bears. And as we moved into our camp last night, uh, we saw one crossing the road right in front of us. He was a young, young cub, maybe about a year old. Beautiful black bear. So we just want to make sure we don't run into one of those trying to find the cache. And we're getting close. Right there. It's a kinder egg shell and and we found some swag and there's one right down there oh there's another piece of swag right there dnf we can't find it yeah and if we can't find the log sheet we found swag but no container and yeah. no log sheet so i think that helicopter overhead is going to find us before we find the cache <laughs> There are people that will log that cache as found because they found parts of it, but 
the uh, guidelines stipulate uh, you must have your name on the log sheet. If we had at least found a log sheet, we'd be good to go. we will just put that into the kinder egg shell, but pretty sure a critter must have picked up the cache and moved it about because uh, we looked all around in a big circle, couldn't find it, so another DNF. <laughs> I hope it's not like this the whole day. There we go. Right there. Whoa. Finally, the cash. Took us a while. Welcome to Sudbury. Here we go with a TB hotel. If we don't find this next cache, at least we got to see this. Isn't that cool? Wow. That's one way to dress up an abandoned building. Just throw some color at it. That's cool. Nice one. And we'll hand this off to Lear Class to sign us in. Here you go. And that's by the cacher we're hoping to meet up with coming up soon at the very last cache, the big one. Three more to go. We're thankful for a, a coordinate redirect from our friends Anuksuk and Terrier, who we were just spending some time with. They were just here on their way up to a cache on Lake Superior. So we're kind of following in their tracks. We're gonna find a couple more on this uh, road trip that they've already found. Coming down. Coming down, here we go, putting her back. Gotta love these finds, if you can find them. Blends in perfect. Mmm, gotta love the smell of creosote in the morning. Oh, that's pretty thick. <laughs> Let's go find stage one. This is a two-part, uh, or three. This is a multi-cache, we'll figure it out. First, we have to find first stage one, then go back and find the lock. Okay, so we found stage one, and stage one uh, gives you a key, as it says in the cache description. Then you have to take that key and find what lock it goes to to get the final coordinates for the final. We could be here a while. <laughs> Yay, we got it. We found the lock, the key worked in the lock, and we got the, the five digit number from that, and we put that into the west coordinates to find the final. We hope. This is reminiscent of being in Paris at the Love Lock Bridges and searching through all these locks. It's a lot of fun, it's difficult. What she didn't tell you was the brilliance in finding that cache. It wasn't me, it was her. It was right by the Cathedral de Notre Dame and she said, oh, is this ground zero? I said, yes. She reached over the railing, grabbed the lock, and she said, is this it? <laughs> you found ground zero, that's all I needed. Okay, we got the uh, first stage. A little tripped us up a little bit where we're looking on the wrong side. Then we got the lock. It was perfectly listed in the cash description. Yep. It made sure it opened so we had the right one. We got the five digits. We're off to the final. It's a good multi because all the pieces put together and they worked. Yeah, and it makes sense and uh, kind of brings together that theme of love locks. And we love geocaching, just like the CO. Okay, not too far away. And looky, looky, what I see is a cash container. And found in the uh, cache container a cigarette this does not belong in a geocache gone but this is kind of cool it's not worth much 20 pesos from uh, the Dominican Republic I think that's worth about 10 cents <laughs> and a yo-yo thanks for the cache that was awesome hey it's worth a favorite point obviously oh, right yeah. let's very, pull that down well two favorite points awesome Not one. Just 
sign. Nope. Last cash before the big one. You know, this is the only, this is the last one to go. Uh, we, we had trouble finding it. We were looking on the other side of the gateway and then uh, Lyric Glass was reading the log. She said something about placed on the ground to help you find it. I found this black fake rock and there's paper in there but some kind of poem. And then it's the hint for that last person that put this there said uh, easier to find by putting this under it. And I looked up and there was the bison tube with the black tape we're trying to find. And this is a challenge cache. We'll get this one signed up and we are off to the last big cache. We're going to go get us one of the oldest caches in Ontario, right on this mountain in Sudbury. Well, kind of like a big hill. Before we head out, we want to introduce you to Team Zingerman. Well, part of Team Zingerman anyway. Oh, part of the team, yep. And he's going to join us uh, to the cache because he's been here before and he can show us the easy way. <laughs> and you've seen us on Cache Canada. Yes, I yeah. have. Yeah. That's where I watch it. Awesome. That's great. Well, now he's going to be a guest star on Cash Canada. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. Let's get that cash. This is going to be a milestone moment because uh, we're approaching. This will be cash number 12,000. I've been working the way, working the day today to get to 12,000 geocaches. So this hopefully will be it. Up to the right, yeah, I think. Well, we're going up, and the heat of the day, 32 degrees, middle of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, but what's the humidity? Oh, who knows? 37? <laughs> Something, no, it's worse than that. <laughs> At least there's a view. Something to keep you entertained. 92 meters that way <laughs> uh, looks like it would be I'm live on YouTube and uh, we'll just follow the lyric glass in see if she can find the cash are you near it yet did you find it join us for this momentous occasion we have behind me there half of uh, team Zingman he's a local cashier from the Sudbury area is volunteered to come along and see what Cash Canada does. You know, when we find DNFs and all. Somewhere in here. So we're looking for a pile of rocks. Oops, there we go. Looking for a pile of rocks. Hey. A pile of rocks. Now, how's that for a view? Let's check the GPS. That might be handy. Oh, over there by that water bottle. I was through there. This would be it. Here we go, right here. Oh, let me show you. There we go, right there. Got it. Yay. Adnac Climb. This is a, I think a 2001 cache. This cache is placed by a member of the Northern Ontario Geocachers. There you go. This is cash number 12,000 for the London zero Westie. Hey. Been, a, oh, been a long time coming. Here it is. And what a cash to get for the 12,000th cash. Oh, I wanted to save to it. We had to work on it today. The first two caches were DNFs. <laughs> so we had to work past that to make sure we got here on just the right number. And I think this is the first time that uh, I have ever worked it out to try to be at a specific cache for a milestone. So I don't know if I'll do it for 13,000, but 12,000 was good. I don't know what I did for 10. I don't have to look up my stats, see what I did for 10. So anyway, we're gonna sign that one up and uh, get out of this heat. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, we picked the worst part of the So day. what do you say half of uh, Team Zingerman? This is pretty awesome. Yeah. Even though I found this one a long time ago, oh. it's pretty uh, and it took, an it, honor to, uh, to share. If I can get up to your numbers, I think I'll be a happy man. That's awesome. Thank you. And he started before us, but we're numbers. We push our numbers up. And as we said in the, the video for the challenge caches, um, it's a lot easier for us in southwestern Ontario to get numbers. And uh, we travel a lot in the States. We go to a lot of big uh, 
uh, runs so you can do it more than what you would be able to do around here mm -hmm. so and you have to travel and power trails really get you going into uh, numbers and so. geoarts and geoarts yeah. yeah yeah the one that we did in florida was 163 and then the one we did in texas was oh i don't know how long anyway my phone is getting warm so i'm going to sign off on the uh the live uh, broadcast and bring you back to sign this up April 2020. Oh, hubby G. There you go, hubby G. We know hubby G. Oh, Sterling One, McCabe, we know it. Lollipop, yeah, we know them. Uh, Kramer and Bears crew, right there. Lady Jamie. Whew. Lady Jamie has been on uh, Geo uh, Cash Canada a lot. So we're going to put us right here. Cash Canada. Oh, we got to show the kids. Uh, Geo, uh, skatey, skatey Rocks and Geo Munchkin kids they want to see. There's a headless robot. And we got a, uh, a Brontosaurus, although I guess that's a Patosaurus is correct. There's a Pterodactyl and uh, one of those things that doesn't work. Oh, a bunny puzzle. Ooh, too hard for me. And we have uh, something in a foreign language. It's scouting. There you go. And a bouncy ball. There you go. And then we'll put that in there. A cash can of the calling card. And what else we got in here? I think that's it. Wait a minute. We have a cash can of the sticker. There we go. Done. 12,000. I can't believe it. We did it. We made it. Now it's time to go for a cold beverage with another fan of Cash Canada. We're going to meet here right now. And right here with us is a fan of Cash Canada, Crazy Canuck. This is really cool. Nice to see you. Thank That's you. Awesome. I'm just grateful that I met you guys. I've been watching you for a while on uh, on YouTube and, and that. So it's just like, oh, I got to meet more cashers. <laughs> you follow us on Cash Canada. That's awesome. Maybe without this COVID, we could have stuck at the trailer and had a few more brewskis. <laughs> and the beer was so good, she drank hers already just like that. Done. This is the Twin Bridges on the Spanish River. Yep, and this will wrap it up for our day for this part of our adventure. But this is just the start of another adventure. This location is just one of 25 waypoints for the Highway 17 Virtual. We've just did one at the Big Nickel. In September, we did two locations with Kelso and Kiki91. Yep, and coming up, we're gonna be doing more locations as we travel north and west here in Ontario. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yep, where will geocaching take you?